In today's video, we're going to go over to Target buy two get one free deal, but this time we're going to dive deeper into it and talk about which games you should pick up for this early Black Friday deal at Target. Let's get started. What is going on guys? Jim here with a video today, and yes, today we're going to be talking about the Target buy two get one free deal once again, but this time we're going to dive deeper into it and talk about the games that I think are worth it per price range, talk about some other things, some games that are not included. There's a lot of things to go over in this video. This is a certain ad right now. That other video of yesterday was actually more of a prediction, but I kind of did the pros and cons with it. This one, however, is what's going on with the ad itself. Before we get started today's video, guys, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Like this video, comment down below. By the end of the video, are you going to be doing the buy two, get one free at Target? Or are you going to just stay uh, clear and just wait for Black Friday? There's so many things to talk about. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about some key things to know. Watch out for prices on Xbox versus PlayStation when doing the best buy two, get one free. What I mean by that is you uh, can see a, on a screen right here, one game is 60 on Xbox, one's 40 on PlayStation, whatever it says on the screen here. You might watch out, they're the same exact game. If you have both consoles, make sure you get the cheaper one. It's definitely the best for it. You don't want to buy a, a higher price game because you have both consoles, if, if that makes sense. Also keep in mind that Red Card and Target Circle are key in this deal. I'm telling you right now, you'll save 5% with Red Card and then Target Circle, you spend I think 94 times or 5 times, uh, then you will get that promotion of $30 I think the next day or something. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Also keep in mind, games are flying off the site by the minute. I am not even joking. I had to remake this video like 5 times with this part because so many games are flying off the shelf one by one. Uh, for one, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. Uh, yeah, that game is harder to get in than Lorcana right now. I don't know what this is, but that game is really hard to find on the PlayStation 5. Keep in mind, some pre-orders do count. I'll go over that later in the video, but also keep in mind, Call of Duty does count if you're looking forward to that. I hear the story's a joke, but I hear the multiplayer is good. I'm more in for the story, so I'm probably going to skip on this one. But if you see in the comment section below right here, this person on the screen commented that Call of Duty would count, and they were totally right. So thank you so much, and I appreciate that. Let's talk about some games that don't count for this deal. Now, there is a lot of games on the screen here that uh, are different types of games, different types of genres, and different types of systems. Let's talk about it. So if all first-party Nintendo Switch games do not count for this deal, I repeat, all of them. No Skyward Sword HD, no Luigi's Mansion. We can't even get the new Super Mario and U Deluxe. Obviously, you see on the screen right here, Wonder definitely does not count. Uh, the pre-orders on the screen you see right there are Super Mario RPG and Avatar, two, two of the bigger games coming out later this year. Um, those two don't count. Uh, as you can see on the right side, we have Red Dead Redemption, uh, quote-unquote remaster, report, whatever you want to call this. That game is not even exclusive. It's it, it. What is this? That doesn't even count. How does Hot Wheels and Lords of the Fallen count, but Red Dead Redemption doesn't count? Man, that's Rockstar being greedy. Man, that's not surprising. And last but certainly not least, first party newer PS5 games do not count. And I'm going to put one on the screen right here. As you see, Spider-Man 2 does not count. That's why I didn't show it and showed Miles Morales instead on the ad. So yeah, if you're looking for Miles Morales, that does count. The Spider-Man 2 though does not count. Alright, so before we continue, Switch games selection is very bad for the sale. I know I said all the uh, first party games are not included in the intro, but look at this right here. Metroid doesn't count. None of the Zelda games count. Not even Mario Party 8, which is like 3 or 4 years old, doesn't even count. So nothing on a Switch is good for this deal, honestly. If you were looking for third party games, you know, other consoles, I would stick with those consoles. But if you are someone that only has a Switch, then yeah, maybe some of the third party games like Metal Gear or something like that. That would be good. All right, so here are the PS5 and PS4 games that don't count. I got a comment the other day about if Horizon Forbidden West, the complete edition, counted, and it doesn't. It, it, as you can see on the screen here, it does not count. Spider-Man 2 doesn't count, and there we go, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah, it doesn't count. So I understand Spider-Man Horizon, but I do not understand Red Dead not counting. So if you're looking for these three games, they don't count. I really wanted Red Dead, and it doesn't count. No, i got to keep waiting for that to be $20 somehow. Alright, so let's talk about games on this list that I would consider picking up that are $70 or, uh, yeah, $70. Just, just all $70 games here except Forza Horizon, which is $65. Keep in mind, this is my opinion on games that I think are the best for its value. Meaning, I'm not going to put a crappy $70 game in this list and then freaking, like, uh, suggest it. I mean, it's it's got to be a decent game and it's got to be one that actually... Uh, counts for the buy two get one free. So we'll start out with UFC five. UFC five. Uh, uh, I, I like UFC. It's pretty cool. Um, but I know a lot of people out there like UFC. They collect the trading cards and all kinds of stuff. But I know a lot of people like the UFC games. And I think this one's actually pretty good. And this one's uh, seventy. So that's one game. Second game we got is Crew Motor Fest. I'm actually considering picking that one up due to the fact I love Midnight Club and racing games like that. 
but I'm kind of a little iffy because of the online functionality only. Uh, that's how games are these days, sadly. But yeah, so the Crew Motor Fest is one I would definitely consider picking up if you want a racing game that's online focused, but you can play it single player. I gotta keep looking into it, but yeah. Next game I really want to pick up, and I'm actually gonna pick this up. I'm really about to just uh, buy this one with the buy two, get one free, and that's Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen reminds me of Dark Souls mixed with uh, Bloodborne mixed with uh, Lies of P. It looks like it's all three of them. First Lords of the Fallen was kind of bleh, it wasn't the greatest, but this Lords of the Fallen is a reboot five years later and it does a lot better. I definitely consider picking that one up, that is also 70. And then you got NHL 24, someone on the comment section wrote about that as well. So yes, the NHL does count. I can't say too much about this game, then more that it's a hockey game, and it's probably a really good one. So that's that. You got Diablo 4. Diablo 4, uh, this one's a little tricky for the buy two game free. I was also going to put Jedi Survivor, but I realized that that game has been much cheaper to begin with. So let me know in the comment section below if you pick Diablo on the sale. But for 70, I mean, you're getting it for like 40 or 45 if you do a buy two game free with these games. So think about that. Uh, also, Starfield, if you have an Xbox Series X, I heard that game's incredible. I know it's on Game Pass, I think, but if you want to own Starfield and I pay $17.99 a month for Game Pass, that's uh, it's probably your best bet. Starfield's like, what, Skyrim in space, I guess you can say. Also, the last one is Madden. In my opinion, Madden and NHL are going to be one of those $35 sports games in general, so keep that in mind for the real Black Friday. And then we got two games left. We have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I know the campaign leaked and it's horrible, it's short, it's, it's bland, it's repetitive. But uh, maybe it's good for to buy two, get one free. And now, as of right now, the PS5 and Series X version are gone. The PS4 is available. And that's, uh, yeah. If, if you're into the online and zombies or whatever it's in this game, yeah, you're going to like it. And the last but certainly not least is Forza Reboot. And uh, yeah, definitely not the Game Pass. I don't think it's on Game Pass. Maybe it is. I don't know. Definitely pick that one up if you love simulation style of Forza and not the Forza Horizon stuff. I personally like Forza Horizon better, but Forza Motorsport is still great. Uh, so yeah, that's that. A little cheaper here, $56 to $60 games. Now the reason why I'm saying that because some of these prices are so odd. So we're going to start out with Sonic Superstars, a game I'm really, really considering buying because uh, here it's really good, but I also hear it's really bad, but I honestly rather get Sonic Frontiers before this, but this is one game I'm, I'm eyeing to pick up with. For $56 and buy two, get one free, I mean, that's not too bad. It's a little, and then the next game just craps on that. That is Mortal Kombat Reboot. Someone asked about that yesterday, and look at this. Mortal Kombat is on here and it's on sale i'm telling you right now from 70 to 55 and accounts for the buy two game one free and it's got that 10 percent uh by the way there's like a 10 percent thing for like a uh, circle as well there's so much going on here definitely pick up mortal kombat that's insanely that's gonna that's insane and up next again another great game resident evil 4 this is the remake uh i was really shocked to see this one count then again this game's been out for like six months so maybe it, that's why um, I personally would get the PS5 version because of the VR2 getting its free update in spring of 24, I think it is, or winter. And next is Eliza P. Uh, there's no PlayStation 5 version, but the Xbox Series X version is here, and that's an excellent game from what I played. Uh, like Bloodborne with like a Pinocchio uh, dark twist. That's, there you go, it's that. And up next, we got Metal Gear Solid, the Collection Volume 1, Master Collection Volume 1, whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are asking about this one as well. I am eyeing on that and Sonic and Lords of the Fallen right now and those three such great picks. As you can see Metal Gear is a little cheaper at Amazon and they do a buy two get one free over there so keep that in mind. And then we have a pre-order game here. One of the only pre-order games I've listed I think on this kind of section is Persona 5 Tactica. Only the Series X version is included with this deal with the buy two get one free the pre-order. PlayStation once again we're not going to give you any deals unless it's Ghost of the Shima five dollars off on Black Friday. I'm just joking, but seriously, the two games are probably the two best games on this list, so they're all great games, really. Hogwarts Legacy, the reason why I picked this version, because this version is a free upgrade to the PS5, as you can see right here, and uh, it's $60. I mean, Hogwarts Legacy, I mean, if you do buy two, get one free with that, you're initially going to get that for like $40 overall, if you think about it. And then, last but certainly not least, is a game that uh, I picked up on day one, and I haven't even freaking played it yet, and that's Final Fantasy 16. And yes, this game is actually on sale for $62, so keep that in mind. So that would probably go hand-in-hand -hand with the $59.99 games or the $60 games. Rather. So yeah, um, yeah so let me know in the comment section below which games you'd like from these sections so far. Honestly, it's hard. Up next is $45 games to $52 games. Now these games here are really shocking considering like Street Fighter was $70 or something like that. Now it's $45 and it's buy to get one free. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, that's really good if you want Street Fighter for sure. And then you got the Hitman uh, World of Assassin or whatever it's called. You're looking for the Hitman World of Assassin edition, which is pretty much just Hitman 1 and 2 into 3 of the game itself. And then just to play the same style. If you have the upgrade, for, it's free on PlayStation Plus, I think, for 1 and 2. I don't know if it's still there anymore. Maybe that's why they made this version, so you have to go out and buy it, which is absolutely ridiculous. But it does come with some extra stuff, like 
propose cards and stuff. It's stupid. If you have Hitman 3 and just go on your system, if you have the first two games and you can just read, I think you just port them in there and it becomes the Hitman 3 version of those games. It's weird, I know. But maybe it's, this is for people who don't even have Hitman 1 and 2 to begin with. So that makes more sense. Up next is a game you're only going to find on Xbox or the Switch. The PlayStation 5 version is selling out like it's a doorbuster for some reason. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, the successor to the first game. I don't know if it's better, and honestly, I think it's lacking the events like SpongeBob and Mar and uh, uh, DC and Looney Tunes. I hope they do that stuff really soon because that's really what kept the game going. Excellent game overall, I heard though. Up next is one of the v one of the only PSVR 2 games we've heard so far, and that is Star Wars. And this game is actually really good in VR. I got it digital on day one, and I'm telling you right now, it is really breathtaking, and you should really consider picking this one up if you have a PSVR 2. Uh, one of the better games. Up next is Assassin's Creed Mirage. I picked this up, what, two weeks ago with some store credit game stuff, so it's not that bad. So, uh, yeah, I kind of should have just waited for the buy two, get one free. Definitely picked this one up. I played a little bit of this. It's a good one. It's, uh, it takes back to its roots, and it's really got a good setting. Up next is a game I played a good amount before, and that is Elden Ring. I need to go back to this one, but Elden Ring is one of the best games you can pick up on this list so far. Uh, yeah, if you like Souls, uh, this is definitely the better Souls version. So I have Liza P and Lords of the Fallen. I would pick Elden Ring, and, Liza, and I would go Liza P next, and I would go to um, Lords of the Fallen last, but still a great other two games, but Elden Ring just tops it all and then we got last two games here. We got Armored Core 6, I think it's called. And then uh, this is not for me. I, I honestly, like I said, said, this is not only games I think you should pick up. I think it's like overall good games that people would like to play. And Armored Core, I heard it's like by From Software, but it's nothing like Dark Souls. So it's not for me. But uh, I know a lot of people love Armored Core. It's like a it's like a mech game, like Mech Assault kind of. Remember that game? And last but certainly not least is Disney Dreamlight Valley. I really wish the Xbox or the PlayStation version came out because my girlfriend is currently playing it. And Game Pass is about to get rid of it. So I kind of want the game. But the Switch version is not going to carry that over. So yeah, hopefully the other versions are on sale on Black Friday. If you love Disney, this is definitely a great game. It just has so many bugs. Up next is $34 games to $40 games. And these games right here, like I said, they're going to get more and more less quality, in my opinion, because uh, uh, even past these, there's less and less games for these deals. So you'll see AEW Fight Forever. The quality in that one, obviously, that game is a nightmare. I heard it's like it plays like a PS2 game, but it should be a PS5 game. But if you love AEW... And if you love uh, playing the old school kind of wrestling games, this is for you. It did terrible, I think, in reviews. See right here. But uh, I'm definitely going to pick it up when it drops a little further than that. SpongeBob, Cosmic Shake. Uh, girlfriend loves this game. This game is literally like a classic SpongeBob game mixed with a future SpongeBob game. And it's really cool. All right, so up next, we got Wolong. And this game right here is kind of like Nio and uh, really unique. It's kind of underrated, in my opinion. Not a lot of people uh, talk about it. But if you like Nio, which is like a Souls game, pretty much, yeah, there's another one. Uh, Story of Seasons, I think this is the remaster from the PS1. I don't know um, too much about this stuff, but my girlfriend likes this kind of game, and I know a lot of people like this kind of game, so I put it on the list. Sifu has been out for a while. I mean, it's only 40. it It's been. It, it's probably going to be one of the harder games to find overall one day. So if you like that martial art type of game with really complex combat, like Sleeping Dogs but 10 times harder, you're going to like this one. And last, we got Crash Team Rumble Deluxe. Okay, I'm very half and half on this game. I love Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3. I love CTR the most. I love Crash 4. It's about time. I love Crash Wrath, the Cortex back in the day. I love Crash Bandicoot. I'm so glad they remastered the collection and the racing one. They made a fourth one. But then they went the wrong way with this one. This is an online-only Crash game. That's enough to say. It's like Splatoon, but Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I really, really wish they would have just went like Crash Wrath, the Cortex remaster instead of this. Or Crash Bash, even this. This... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. And the last section of games we're going to talk about is $30 games. Now, there is very few $30 games compared to other ads uh, that I've done in the past with this. And that is uh, not really much games here. Uh, two really stand out. We'll start with this one, though. Starting off with Sonic Origins Plus. This has a bunch of Sonic games in it, as you see right here on the screen right here. The classic Sonic collection, I would say. And may maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But uh, $29.99 or $28.99, whatever it is. Not a bad price. Synth Riders Remastered. That is a Beat Saber clone with a... Uh, um, pretty much uh, a different type of game, obviously. Uh, it's definitely different, and um, it's definitely unique. It's got a, it's got some good songs on it. Uh, it's very uh, very accurate, and it really looks breathtaking PSVR too. So if you like Beat Saber, you're gonna like this one. Up next, we got Sonic Frontiers, probably one of the best Sonic games in a long time, and uh, yeah, pick this one up definitely if you're looking for thirty dollars games because it's an excellent Sonic game. And last but certainly not least, if you don't have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Calabunga collection. You're missing out because the Ninja Turtles would not be happy. Uh, so for real, uh, pick up. <laughs>
Moss Shredder, this is Krang! No, for real though, pick up the Cowabunga Collection if you're looking for a great game. Before we end today's video, Black Friday 2023 looms in the distance. What do I mean by that? Well, let's see. Will this be a smart move going into the real Black Friday 2023? Uh, or are there more deals we have to see yet? I, I don't... There's so many deals we don't know about yet. We don't know about GameStop's pre-Black Friday, for one. We don't know about GameStop's real Black Friday. We don't know about Best Buy's real Black Friday. We don't know about Walmart's real Black Friday or Target's. We don't know any of them. And sometimes when a buy two game with free happens, you kind of regret it later saying, wow, these games are cheaper on Black Friday. For example, Lords of the Fallen might be 40. Uh, Hot Wheels could be 20. Red Dead could be 20. I, it's, there's so many endless possibilities. Stay tuned for those videos, obviously. I'll be doing those as well. Um, but yeah, only do this deal if you really want specific games. I'm telling you right now, if you really, really like these games on the buy two, get one free, make sure you really want these games because they could be cheaper on Black Friday. If you can't, if you can't wait to play them, I mean, I, I, can't, I mean, I understand. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. This was kind of an in-depth analysis of the price range of games you should pick per category so there's $70 games $60 games $50 games and so on uh, there are so many games on this list that I wish I would wait for I did wait for a lot of them though compared to last year uh, there's so many games let me know in the comment section below which games you picked up which games you're gonna pick up and let me know if you were gonna pick up Call of Duty because I'm definitely not let me know what you guys think stay awesome stay positive most of all stay safe and I'll see you in another video tomorrow